I bought a boat! It's Amalgus 15. 262, which means I've officially joined one of the fastest growing dinghy fleets in recent history. It came from Eddie, hailing from Wisconsin. It was put together by my crew, Nick, hailing from Florida. It was raced against 64 other boats for the Melgus 15 Midwinter Championship 2023. Over the winter series consisting of three events, teams from across the country moved their boats down to Jensen Beach, Florida to race out of the U.S. Sailing Center of Martin County. I sailed the first event as my first regatta ever in one, and by the time the third one came around, I was an owner. This is my boat. I just bought this boat. I had never even seen this boat before I bought it, and Nick here set it Side up for seat. me. And it's this guy's old boat, who just happened to be launching right next to us. How you doing? Hi, <laughs> I'm Ashley. Hi, Ashley. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you too. Have fun out there. They say the two best days of a boat owner's life are the day you buy it and the day you sell it. But for me, the second day of ownership was even better than the first. Four cast out yet. Pin end was favored. So, of course, everyone wanted to be there. Nick and I mixed equal parts guts with luck. Ducking. Ducking. Nope. And snuck through a tiny hole created from a vowel to break free and mix it up with boats that escaped the chaos and massive individual recall. Take back prism. Send it. Yep. Take our transom right up ahead and then send it. You're good, you're good. I came from a dinghy background, and as adults do, we get into sailing bigger and bigger boats, ones with keels, ones with winches, ones with five, six, 18 crew on board. Don't get me wrong, that's got its time and place, but on a dinghy, each person takes on many roles to get around a race course. The fleet, the support from Melgus, the turnout and host for the one event I did before this one are all attractive, but the hook, line, and sinker is the boat itself. The design is sleek, the rigging and deck layout are simple, the hull is stable, the rudder is responsive, the loads are manageable. Top to bottom, the boat is simply brilliant. I've owned lasers for the simplicity and learned what the edge means. I owned a 505 that has a razor sharp one of those. The Melgus 15 is just the right amount challenging and forgiving. It's more of a postcard edge, one that says, wish you were here. This whole regatta and the scene has just been great, and I think it's great for the sport and helping people kind of get back into dinghy sailing and, and steering their own boats and, and uh, just having a great time. You know, we built the Melgus 15 for exactly this, for family sailing, for for friends to sail with each other, and for a boat that's accessible for everybody. We want to build something that's fast and fun, yet stable. That's why it's been so popular. I sail on the Malgus 15 class regularly, and the best part about this boat is the downwind sailing. It's exciting, exhilarating. The tactics and strategy is, is indescribable, really. Yeah, if you're interested in getting a new boat, then you should contact Malgus and we can hook you up with one of our dealers or we can organize a demo at your yacht club to help you grow a fleet and kind of join the action because there's a lot of people doing that and it's, it's really helps clubs grow and continue to get people involved in the sport that we all love. The winner of the 2023 Midwinners came down to who beat who the last race between Annapolitan Jeff Becker, sailing for the Severn Sailing Association, and New Jerseyan Clay Johnson, sailing for the Tom's River Yacht Club. Clay, sailing with crew Elizabeth Tell, managed to take home first prize. First of all, what an awesome three days of sailing we've had here. This is incredible. Uh, thank you to Melgus uh, for coming out down and putting on the show. Awesome events. Morgan takes the best pictures and drone footage. Sailing Center did a great job hosting us. Race Committee. You can never over communicate as a race committee. These guys do a great job of making sure we all know what's going on. And, and then last thing I need to thank Liz Hell, who hikes so hard and is one of the best crew out there. I could not get around the race course without her. She's amazing. So thank you. Guys. Overall, for the entire winter series, Sarah Morgan Waters, another Annapolitan sailing for the Eastport Yacht Club, averaged out second overall, with Emily Haig, who won the first two events, in first. Both of these top two skippers sailed with a different crew for each event. There was a spectator boat that saved us yesterday when our uh, yeah! side stick <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Our uh, side stick hit got broken. Um, so I like, like right before the start, didn't know what to do, went up to a boat and they really saved us. 
So thank you. Thank you to all the competitors for some really awesome racing out there. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love.